Bueno, pues estamos con Joseph Newgarden y ya de cara a lo que será la temporada 2023. So we're very close to, to start with this season 2023. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm always excited to start a new year. Um, it's a long off season, you know, and I'm a competitor. So when the season stops, my competition stops and I don't know what to do. <laughs> So I, I love getting back to the racetrack because that's what's most natural for me is to be competing. And um, I can't wait to be hopefully better this season than we were last. Hey. Y, y justamente siendo tan competitivo, entonces, ¿qué hace en esa eh, temporada donde hay un receso? I, I'm so locked into the competition and I, I overanalyze everything. And my wife says that's my problem, is that I need, <laughs> I need to disconnect yeah. from, from racing and take a break and, and not overdo it. But I just love it so much. So I, I end up training and working out and trying to get competitive with my training. That's what keeps me, that's what keeps me in a good spirit of when course. I'm not able to race my car. <laughs> Lo que tiene emocionante, Indy, es que hay muchos circuitos callejeros, hay otros eh, trazados ya más tradicionales. ¿Cuál es su favorito? Well, I, I love an IndyCar, genuinely, that you have to be good at everything. Yeah. You know, it's not just, it's not just one type of road course, it's not just street courses, it's not just ovals. I mean, they're all so different, and the really good drivers can switch back and forth between all of them. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Because yeah, if you can't do that, you can't win the championship. Yeah. It's just not possible. Um, so I love that challenge. It's hard to pick one track. I, I mean, I, I love Road America. It's a great road course. Yeah. I love Iowa. Iowa is a really great um, short oval. Obviously, Indianapolis is a big deal, but it's it's hard for me to pick one. I like all of them. I like the challenge of switching more okay. than anything. Y um, justamente eh, después de estos circuitos, ¿cómo te preparas para una carrera como es Indy 500? No, I don't, because <laughs> I think when you take the 500 and you You try and build it up as, as something, you know, bigger than everything else, yeah. which it is. It's bigger than every other race. But when you make it that way, I think you put too much pressure on it. Yeah. You know, really, I approach it like any other event. I prep the same way. Um, and I think that gives you the best opportunity to just perform naturally how you should as a driver. You know, it, it, You pull the pressure off by just treating it like any other race. Like in human, regular human terms, how do you prepare one day before for a race like that or any race? Like you wake up, do you train? What do you eat? Because I'm sure it's like a uh, like whole thing, you know? It, it's not, I, as long as I can sleep well, I'm good. Okay. But you want to make sure you're hydrated, especially if it's a hot Indy 500. And that can't be done just the night before. If you're dehydrated the night before, you're not going to hydrate in time for yeah. the race. So it's it's a week before you're trying to hydrate and make sure that you're you're ready to go for, for race day. But mentally, I think trying to put yourself in the right place is the most important. And that's why I treat it like any other race. If I treat it like the Indy 500 and I say oh, it's this huge event, I got one opportunity, then you're gonna you're gonna probably fail because it's too much pressure. So I just try and make it like any other day. Y justamente tocó un tema muy importante con la cuestión mental porque la regularidad creo que es el factor más importante en Indy y hay muchas cosas que están fuera del control. Entonces cómo lo manejas eh, justamente mentalmente? No, I'm just kidding. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking Fantastic. at you. So no, no, no. What I mean is like one of the um, most important factors or element in indie it's like regularity or the constants, so you can be a winner. But there are so many things that are out of your control. So how do yeah. you manage that mentally in the whole season? Yeah, I think you have to. It's difficult because some people fixate on the things that are outside of your control. Yeah. And when bad things happen to you, they let that snowball into negativity. Yeah. And then more bad things happen because you're <laughs> negative. So you just have to stay positive within the negativity because you can't control it. You know, focus on what you can control and what your job is. And, and if, you know, if a mistake happens or something outside of your control happens, let it happen. Yeah. Move on to the next thing. Yeah. So mentally, it's hard to tell yourself to do that, but it's really important because then that keeps you in a, a good mental place for the whole year. ¿Cuál será el porcentaje de la parte mental y la parte física en un deporte y en una categoría como Indy? It, it depends on the track. Like in Indianapolis okay. is much more mentally draining than physically. Okay. Yeah. But then you go to a street circuit, it's more physical than mental. Um, so there's always a, there's a balance. Okay. But Indianapolis is so mentally draining. You're so focused on, it's high speed, high commitment. And you're, it's long. It's long. You're surrounded by all these cars in, in intense situations. And so mentally, it's a, it's a big fatigue. So you have to be very physically fit, both mentally and physically. If you just have one or the other, it's not going to work. Okay. But, but it, it is a balance. Some yeah. tracks is more the physical, and, but Indianapolis is, is all mental. 
Wow. Y hay otro elemento bien importante en el deporte motor que es la familia por todos los sacrificios que se hacen alrededor. Uh, family has been I wouldn't be able to do what I do without my family. Uh, my wife is very supportive of, of my career and it consumes most of my life, yeah. you know? And if she wasn't, if she, if she was not understanding or supportive, I think it would be difficult for me to get the most out of my career uh, because it takes up so much of my time, uh, takes up a lot of my mental capacity. You know, sometimes I can't think about, you know, her needs or, or, or the family's needs. And that's difficult because yeah. You know, in ways you have to be selfish, um, but the family's sacrifice to allow me to be selfish makes a big difference on the track. And I, I, I try and, you know, when I have time, I try and make, make that time for my family, but them being able to give me, you know, the, the room to be selfish, it makes me better at my job. Of course, and now, eh, el público, por supuesto, aquí en Estados Unidos es una es la categoría reina en los Estados Unidos, y supongo que el apoyo eh, va acorde. Yeah, as far as the fans yeah. and everything, yeah, I I don't even notice it. I'm so focused. That's why I like driving too, because you know there's there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of people around you, uh, but when you're in the car and you have your helmet on, it's just me. It's just me. Is that the time when you disconnect, actually, when you are actually on the car? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's funny, <laughs> but it is. You know, if the, I, I'm an introvert, and the time when I have the most peace and solitude is when I'm driving the car. Yeah. It's lovely. I love yeah. it. I understand. I'm, yeah. I, I'm an introvert, too. Yeah. So, um, in another sport, the American U.S. team of uh, women, they're going to compete in the World Cup this mm. summer. So, I would love you to give them a message uh, of support. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm cheering for our women that are going to be competing in the World Cup. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity. I hope you represent the United States well, and I wish you the best of luck. And, you know, have good confidence in what you're doing. You're the best of the best, and I think you can get the job done. Great. Talking about that, we've seen Tatiana Calderon uh, competing in Indy. So what do you think about women in racing? And is there soon to be spots for them to be competing in the in the top categories yeah I th for sure i think you know motorsports in general needs needs more opportunities for young talent both men and women but specifically women to have opportunities to develop their skills and then to showcase their skills because that's what's going to ultimately help them rise to the top level because um, there should be no difference there should be no difference in you know a man or a woman and what they can do in a race car but i think the opportunity is is what makes the difference you know it's who has yeah. the right connection and who has the right opportunity at the right time um, to really showcase what their talents are so that's what needs to be better and better within sports sports in general but i think motorsports specifically yeah. so i love to see programs that are being developed now that are trying to trying to provide those opportunities you know and and Jamie Chadwick is, mm. is, a, is a great driver that I'm yeah. looking forward to watching. She's going to be obviously in Indy next. Um, and I think she's, she's a fantastic driver and, and I hope that she, she does really well. And she's showcasing what some of those opportunities are presenting for women in sports. And, and so hopefully we just get more because we need more to, to be able to, to help everybody get to the top. Great. Y las expectativas, por supuesto, para esta temporada. Yeah, last year was tough. I really, yeah. we were close, like I you know. said, but we've been close the last three years. Yeah. So we won a couple championships and then we finished second three years in a row. So close. Which is terrible. Yeah, I know. Uh, is, is it worse? It is. It's worse. It's excruciating. Okay. I'd rather finish 10th than 2nd. But it's motivating. I feel very motivated to come back and do a better job this year. And I just don't want it to, I don't want it to mentally drag myself down with mm -hmm. it. Uh, I'm using it as motivation to anything that I can control, I want to be better at. And we'll figure out how to win this year and, and not finish second. Y lo último, correr para un equipo tan importante eh, acaba siendo motivación o una presión extra. Yeah, it, I think racing for Team Penske, there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> you're, you're running for one of the best teams historically in the sport. Um, but I also love that opportunity because I know I'm going to have the best of the best. I'll have the best opportunity. I'll have the best cars. I'll have some of the best people working around me. And so I look at it more as an honor and a privilege to, to be in that position than the pressure of having to perform. Because at the end of the day, regardless of what team you're on, there's always pressure to succeed. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather have the pressure of being with the best than the pressure of wanting to succeed and not having the best around sure. me. Great. Well, thank you and good luck. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
nos encontraste, no olvides suscribirte a nuestra página para disfrutar de las mejores jugadas de la Premier League, lo más destacado de las chivas rayadas del Guadalajara y todas las novedades del mundo del deporte. Te esperamos.